If you wish to export your publication intended only for screen viewing and not to be consumed in print, then you can create a PDF for that. I'll go to file to Adobe PDF presets, and then I'll start by using the smallest file size preset. I'll leave this set to a Squire May screen and I'll click on save. Under the general options, I'll make sure it's going to export all my pages and I'll export them as spreads this time. So when they're viewed on screen, it will join together the left and right side of pages. And when it opens up, I'm going to prefer to make sure that it fits the page in window. So none of my publication is missing. I'll turn on hyperlinks so that if I do have any web addresses, they can be accessed by a left click of the mouse. Under compression, I'm going to set the quality of my images to be 144 PPI. Now that should allow your publication to look good on any type of screen device, whether they are standard quality or whether they are high definition displays, such as iOS devices. And they're going to make sure that it's going to check to make sure my images are set at 175. If they are greater than this value, then it will downsize them in quality to 144. But in terms of image quality, they're going to get turned into a JPEG. Low is never going to be good. I would tend to suggest you'll either need to use medium or high. You can start by exporting them out as medium quality JPEGs and then see if the quality looks okay on screen. If it does, fine. If not, then you can come back in here, go through this process again and instead choose high. I'll go to Marks and Bleeds just to show you that we don't need to turn anything on here. This is only meant for print purposes, but it's still included in a digital on-screen PDF as a set of options to choose. Under output, convert to destination, it's going to export that as a screen based RGB profile. So everything's going to be RGB because that's the type of device or medium that it's going to be used to view this finished document in. And from here, I'll go down to the bottom and click on export. 